Gentlemen, how are you? Go ahead, Donald. Hi. We're all fine. How are you doing, Joe? Good, good. Uh, do I feel safe going to nightclubs? Yeah. Yes, I do for two reasons. One is I keep my nose clean and I don't look for trouble. That's but good. The point I want to make is uh, you were mentioning earlier that as the volume uh, increases, you got a better chance of something happening. But this summer... Well, I said that. Derek didn't necessarily agree with me. Oh, but, but the point I want to make is yeah. this summer we had close to half a million people in Downsview with only 17 arrests, yeah. and they were either sex or drug related. Mm -hmm. There was no, nothing about guns, nobody died, nobody yeah. got hurt. I mean, half a million people. Yeah. So to me, I don't think it's, it's, the volume really has anything to do with it. Yeah, but a it, club, it's people but a club has, find trouble well. But a club has alcoholic beverages, doesn't that make liquid a difference? Courage, isn't that, as, as, as Derek says, liquid courage. Doesn't that change the, uh, change the equation quite a bit. Liquid courage and people stepping on each other's feet. Yeah. That's a big problem. Yeah. The liquid courage thing though also, I mean, people emphasize, I mean, doormen <laughs> would take a lot of slack for a lot of things, you know, problems that, that happen. And I'm gonna defend the good doorman that I know yeah. in the city where it really boils down to we're not the ones serving them the alcohol. And the yeah. bartenders have to be able to understand to control I mean, I know everyone is wanting to make money. Yeah. And bartenders want to make yeah, it. Yeah, but possible. bartenders, you're right, have that responsibility. Don't you know? Exactly. You're not supposed to pump booze into somebody exactly. who's falling but down drunk. You, in the industry the way it is now, yeah. there is no money in it. Yeah. So okay. you've got to. Let, let me stop know. you there. We're running out of time. I want to get uh, one last caller on, and it's uh, Umapo. <laughs> Ima Am I saying that right? It's Imwapo. Imwapo. Hello, good evening, gentlemen. How are you doing? Go ahead. There's just two things that I wanted to say. The first thing that I wanted to say is, first of all, promotion. Uh -huh. A lot of times clubs will promote, and they'll say, for an example, free before 12. Yeah. So now you get to the, and this brings to the second, like the second comment. Now, you get to the club, uh, let's just say Phoenix, for an example, right? You get to the club now. You're standing outside. What are you laughing about? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Go ahead. No, no I'm just saying as an example. I don't want right. to, like, okay, fine. you understand? I'm just saying as an example. It's an example. Right. You go to the club now, it's 3 before 12, and you're there, like, you know, 10.30, whatever, 11 o'clock, uh -huh. and you're standing outside, especially in weather like today. Right. Minus 20 degrees weather. And you're standing outside for two hours waiting to get into the club. And then you have all these people standing outside, you got this huge lineup going down yeah. the street. And when I'm you running out of time. Make your okay, point, Okay, when you get into the club, there's nobody in there. And on top of that, when you get to the door, the bouncers are rude and disrespectful to you, so that makes you angry. And yeah. then you get into the club, there's nobody in the club, you get to the bar, and a lot of times the bartenders are very rude. So okay, thank, thank you for that. You're our last couple. We're taking a break. We're coming right back.